Hi, this is Manan Shalvi. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this text reveal animation in LumaFusion. At the end of the tutorial, I'll show you how the effect can be modified to make the letters appear one by one. Here's another example using the same method. And here, with the letters appearing one by one. Let's discuss the principle behind this workflow. Consider this image. It has three shapes that are colored with different tones of gray. By decreasing or increasing brightness and levels, the shapes disappear or appear in order based on the brightness of their tone of grey. Then, if gamma is reduced, the three shapes now look white. But when the brightness and levels are adjusted, they still appear or disappear in order based on their original tone of grey. The first step in this effect is to create a text with multiple tones of grey, like this one. The reveal animation is determined by the position of the tones of grey within the text. Let's start by creating the reveal pattern. We start in LumaFusion with a 16x9, 30 frames per second project already containing two identical copies of a title with a single white text element. Both titles are 7 seconds long and have their shadows removed. For this effect, choose a bold font to get better results. Edit the first title. Make the font even bolder by changing the edge color to white. and increasing the edge width to 7.5. This will give more range to the animation. Now let's start defining the animation pattern that, as I mentioned earlier, is defined by the different tones of grey in the text. Blur the white color of the text by adding a Gaussian 40 effect. Bring the blur a bit down. As you can see, the Blur's diffusion creates a range of grey tones. At this point, using different distortion effects, you could create different animations. For this tutorial, we'll add the Glass Distort effect. Set the scale to 1, leave the width at 0.02 and change the angle to 20. You can already see the pattern that will drive the animation. Finally, let's counter the rotation to level the text. Tap on frame and fit, and change the rotation to minus 20. Exit back to the timeline. Export a screenshot of the first title that contains the reveal pattern and import it back into the project. You can now delete the first title from the project. Let's start working on the text reveal animation. Edit the second title. Change the edge color to white. And change the edge width to a number that is lower than the edge width of the first title. I'll set it to 6.5. This is less than the 7.5 edge width of the first title. Exit back to the timeline. Place the screenshot clip containing the revealing pattern above the title at the beginning. Change its duration to 1 second. Edit the clip with a revealing pattern. Change the blend mode to darken or darker color.
This will ensure that the reveal of the text in the revealing pattern clip doesn't extend beyond the boundaries of the text in the main track. Tap on Colors and Effects and add the original preset. We are going to keyframe brightness and levels to progressively reveal the text. Scroll down and change gamma to 0.01. This sometimes creates green leaks, so in order to avoid this, set the saturation to 0. Now set the levels as shown. Move to the beginning of the clip. Start reducing brightness until the text fully disappears. Add a keyframe. Move to the end of the clip. There, increase the brightness until the text is fully visible. A keyframe will be automatically created. This is how the revealing animation looks now. Exit back to the timeline. Duplicate the revealing pattern clip. Place the duplicate clip above the title at its end. Reverse the text revealing animation so the text starts fully visible and disappears at the end of the animation. This is how the title animation looks so far. Now let's layer a video over the text. Add a background video of your choice. Place it on the third track and adjust its duration so it matches the duration of the title in the main track. Edit the background video and change its blend mode to darken or darker color. The video now appears inside the white areas of the text, but not on the black background. Exit back to the timeline and export the project. Now, let's use the animation that we just made. Create a new LumaFusion project. Add a video of your choice to the main track. Add the title animation that you just exported above it a few seconds after it begins. Edit the title animation video. Move to the middle of the clip so you can see the letters fully displayed. Add the dark luma key effect. Reduce the edge blur to zero. Check the results throughout the text animation and make additional adjustments to the key if required. Exit back to the timeline. This is how the effect looks now. You can improve on this design by making the letters appear one by one using cropping. Make sure to include an overlap so the reveal of the next letter starts before the reveal of the previous one or two letters ends. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like, and click on the bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.